Since the release of its first trailer, the live action Sonic the Hedgehog movie has definitely gotten a reaction. To say the least. Whether or not you think it's a pile of cold, damp garbage, or that it might actually manage to redeem itself, bless your optimistic soul, there's a lot of talk online about what exactly this feature film will entail. And because of the visual treatment given to the blue blur, a lot of those theories and tidbits of speculation have gone down a rather dark path. So today we're taking a closer look at some of those feels with our list of the top 10 scariest Sonic the Hedgehog fan theories, specifically pertaining to the upcoming movie. At number 10, Sonic is stranded. In the trailer when Sonic is driving with James Marston in his car, and Marston is realizing his career is ending, oh wait sorry, when Marston is attempting to question him, Sonic says that he's here to save your earth. This has led to theories that Sonic's in quite the tricky situation. He accidentally found his way to our reality and is stuck here, at least until he finds a way back home. This explains the den that he's been living in, the fact that he uses cassette tapes. It's all he could find when rummaging through the old garbage. Also, of course, he rummages through garbage. And the fact that he has a pile of discarded burned through shoes. He ain't a hoarder, he's just trying to cover his tracks and lay low. Although, another explanation for the shoes has popped up, and it's a more sinister theory, to say the least. And at number nine, Sonic has a foot fetish. When Sonic drops down into his den before his full body reveal in the trailer, wiping that memory from my mind, we see that he's got a pile of discarded shoes. While some believe this is due to the fact that he hasn't found shoes in our reality that can support the speeds in which he runs, therefore he goes through shoes like crazy, also kind of gross. Imagine his foot sweat, ugh. Others believe this is something much more mature. Ugh, well, if you can call it that, Sonic has a foot fetish and has been stealing shoes from those in the Green Hills County. Gross. And at 8, the true villain. While Robotnik and the government sure do seem to be antagonistic forces for the blue blur, there is speculation that the massive energy surge that the government notices in the trailer is due to something else than Sonic. It's actually the reason why Sonic is here on Earth. Could this be a villain that we've already encountered in the video games? Or is it something completely brand new? Regardless, the energy surge comes from an evil villain that is not Sonic, that is also capable of fast speeds maybe, who knows. It's definitely not going to be Metal Sonic, I don't think they're going there. And at number 7, something totally horrifying, it's Sonic is half human. Many fans felt rather jarred by the details of Sonic's live action persona. <laughs> Wonder why. His teeth. Specifically, the nostalgic character now has teeth and little fingernails. This has spawned a theory in which Sonic is actually revealed in the film to be half hedgehog, half human. Meaning, yes, someone somehow managed to breed a human and a hedgehog in some sort of weird genetic experiment, and bam, we get this version of Sonic, and it's terrifying. At least that would better explain Sonic's romantic choices in the Sonic 06 video game. But um, bum ch. Kill me. And at number 6, Sonic is an SCP. Another theory that sets out to explain why Sonic is living in an underground den in secret is that he's actually an SCP. SCP stands for Special Containment Procedures, and the SCP Foundation is a fictional yet highly theorized organization that contains individuals, entities, locations, and objects that violate natural law. You know the reveal in Cabin in the Woods? Yeah, it's that. This theory suggests Sonic broke out of the Foundation and has been living on the run, which is why the organization feels it needs to bring out Robotnik in order to find a way to contain him. It's also the reason why Robotnik is so damn mental. He spends all of his time dealing with SCP related issues. And at 5, Environmental Crisis. One theory suggests that Sonic has come to our Earth because he's searching for a way to save his planet from an environmental disaster. In the original 1991 Sonic the Hedgehog video game for the Sega Genesis, Sonic saves little forest creatures who are captured by Eggman's forces throughout. This is something that is consistent through most of his games. There's also this constant theme of nature versus technology in the franchise. So this theory speculates that the global warming in our reality has somehow seeped into Sonic's, and he now must do something in our world, like knock out all the power, in order to keep his world alive. Another take on this theory is that technology from our reality somehow got into Sonic's, and caused some serious environmental damage, leading to Sonic to come to our world to look for a way to put an end to it. But he got stuck here in the process. Moving on to number 4, Robotnik's transfer. In the trailer, we see that Dr. Ivo Robotnik originates from Earth, whereas it's established that Sonic comes from elsewhere, likely Mobius. The end of the trailer gave us a look at Jim Carrey's Eggman in a form that looked way more like the character from the video games, versus the first glimpse we saw of Robotnik harassing a military superior, and looking like a normal dude. 
with a mustache. This theory speculates that at the end of the film, Robotnik will follow Sonic back home to his dimension, or Earth or reality. And as part of the process of traveling to another reality, his body becomes warped and disfigured, which will explain the character's aesthetic transformation. In at 3, Sonic causes Robotnik's transformation. Riffing off of our previous theory, this one speculates that Sonic will be responsible for Robotnik's disfigurement. Throughout the trailer, the government becomes concerned about an energy surge that is implied to be caused by Sonic. This theory explores the idea that the energy surge is in fact caused by Sonic, because that's how his powers translate in the real world, aka our world. He breaks the laws of nature, and thus creates massive electrical surges that can knock the power out in half the country, and even cause massive damage. They all spawn from Sonic running at incredibly fast speeds. When fighting Robotnik, Sonic moves at his fastest, and then causes a massive surge which then disfigures Robotnik into his classic video game form. Moving on to number 2, Tails is dead. I guess that's darker. One of the biggest things fans noticed about the trailer was that Tails, Sonic's best bud and partner in heroics, was missing. This has spawned multiple theories about the character in this film universe, and a few theories about how it will tie into the film's ending. But one theory explores a much darker possibility. It suggests that Tails is actually dead. Or is deathly ill. Hence why Sonic is in this reality, searching for a cure after he couldn't find one in Mobius. While we don't think that this one will actually pan out, we're likely to see an appearance from Tails at the end of the movie, potentially leading into a loose adaptation of Sonic 2, the game for the Sega Genesis. It is kind of funny to think that Tails' absence could be due to a more sinister reason. We doubt it though. A scarier theory would be to suggest that Tails does show up at the end of the movie, thus creating the possibility for a sequel that will feature more of Sonic and his weird teeth. And at number one, Sonic is actually tiny. Here's an interesting one, and actually bodes with another Sonic fan theory about the game franchise. Sonic is actually a regular hedgehog. And for some reason, likely some sort of genetic experimentation or an accident of Robotnik's, as a side effect, Sonic has grown from a regular hedgehog into whatever it is that he appears to be in the trailer. That's why when we see that shot of Robotnik in his full Eggman form at the end of the trailer, there's all those big mushrooms surrounding him. So rather than it just be an alternate world, Robotnik has just shrunk down in size, back to Sonic's regular size, and that's why his mustache is so big. This original fan theory states that Sonic is just a regular hedgehog, and is the size of a regular hedgehog. Therefore, him running, in his brain, he sees it as going really fast, but to us, we just see a regular hedgehog moving at regular hedgehog speeds. But as per the theory pertaining to the movie, when he gets big and I guess like the size of a 14 year old girl, his speeds change to match his new size in the film. So he's still running fast, but he's actually just a small hedgehog and then Robotnik shrinks down with him afterwards, they're surrounded by mushrooms, his stash doesn't change. It's it's a fun time. He loses his hair too in the process. All right, there we have it friends. Do you have your own theories about Sonic the Hedgehog? Give us a shout in those comments below and just tell us all about them. If you dug this video, spread the love, hit that like button, and hey, why not subscribe while you're at it? We have a ton of videos just like this one. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.